schnitzeling reports. I'm your twin brother. Oh, obviously. The moment I sat down, I thought I was looking into a mirror. Well, it's pretty hard to mistake Arnold Schwarzenegger for Danny DeVito, but around here, things are a bit different. In fact, you could be mistaken for thinking that you were seeing double. When you're twins, the magic just One or two sets of twins is not unusual in most schools, but three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then there's another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of ones that don't look alike, plus two sets of identical teachers. 19 sets of twins in all. Carmel Gom, deputy principal, knows just how much fun it can be. Carmel, you're a twin. What's it like having so many other sets of twins at the school? On the whole, it's quite delightful. It can be a little confusing, but usually a lot of fun. And the fun comes quite often because myself as a twin sister of the deputy principal, I cause a lot of confusion and amusement when I come in as a relief teacher. And it's no surprise the confusion is contagious. Yes, we used to swap boyfriends when we were younger. Did that confuse them? Yeah, a bit. Do people ever get you mixed up? Yeah, Dad does all the time. Sometimes we change our identity. Say, oh no, that's Jodie over there. And she says, oh no, that's Michelle. And of course, looking alike can get you out of trouble. OK. Which one of you broke the window? It was, it was him. him. It was him. It was you. He miss. It wasn't, wasn't me. me. Come on, come on. Having an almost carbon copy, though, means more than just having a double. We used to always share things and swap things around and do everything together. Because it's like having a friend for life. We're a lot closer than uh, other brothers, as we said before. But all that closeness can get a bit much. My brother thinks he's excellent. Oh, I, you think you're excellent. Oh, shut up, Ben. People never think of me as me. They always think of her as well. Once people find out your twins, they make a big fuss about it and you have to tell your life story. He raves on about himself at night. You should oh, I do, no. You do, so, yeah. Not only are the faces the same around here, but so are the cars. And you guessed it, they're driven by twins. Not only do Paul and Chris Dawson both teach phys ed, they both have three daughters and recently both had the same knee operated on at the same time for the same injury. So is there any truth to this twins telepathy business? Yes, yeah, of, course of course there is. There is. The, the closest we've ever come to that is on the sporting field where I can tell where Paul is without having to look around and I just sense his, his presence near me. So we're often trying to ring each other at the same time, things like that, there is. Um, if I go to the dentist, Chris gets the pain. Although when his three daughters were born, I didn't have any labour pains. We've always achieved the same results academically. On the tennis court, we've spent our lives playing tiebreakers. And unfortunately, we end up buying the same clothes very often, and on some occasions, wearing them at the same time. And what about those who are the same but different? Would they like to look alike? Yeah, because being fraternal, just like having a friend. What do you think you'd do if you were identical? I know, play tricks on people. <laughs> and twin trickery can mean twice the fun. OK, once around the oval. Aww. OK, once around the oval. Oh, so you already told us to. No, I didn't. Off you go. Aww. Amazing coincidence. Kumbaba High.